Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 3 Reload. And guess what? I have not played this game for a month and a half. And you want to know why? It's because too many good games are coming out and I was way ahead on my recordings on Persona at the same time that Unicorn Overlord and Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth came out. And so I had to put this one on the back burner for a while. Obviously, there hasn't been much of a break for all of you. Um, but for me, it's been a month and a half. So um, I just gave myself a little bit of a reminder of kind of like where I was with my social links. Seems like we're not doing too bad. Um, whether we're on track for max social links, I don't really know. I feel like I'm doing a fine job, but I do know how tight this game gets. So I guess we're going to have to find out. Can't believe we're that close on the gourmet king. Freaking hate Suimitsu. <laughs> But it is what it is. All right, so um, I believe we also, yep, have new requests. Okay. Greed is such a terrible sin. Alas, I cannot help but want, and now the number of requests I have for you has increased. I would be incredibly pleased should you spare the time to fulfill them. Sincerely yours, forevermore, Elizabeth. Forevermore, you say. Sounds good to me. All right. So, let's see about those requests, then. Seems like a decent place to start, huh? Marvelous! I can sense that the power growing within you stems from the bonds you have forged and nurtured. Here, it may not be much, but this is my gift to you. Please accept it. I'm looking forward to it! Alright. About requests. Here are my requests. Alright, bring me a fruit knife. Bring the item that Elizabeth is asking for. Let's see. A blade that likes to cut through fruit, also known as a fruit knife. Should there be someone close to you, well versed in the culinary arts, I suggest you ask them first. Paint my powerful persona That's Shinji, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> That's probably Shinji. Uh, among these variations, I would like to study the one known as the fruit knife. The fact that it has fruit in the name must mean it possesses some kind of special ability that only works on fruit. It is certainly a tool of great interest. Please bring me one immediately. By all means. You got it, girl. A beautiful tile. So. It's a small piece with an intricate design of a peacock. The piece seems to bring people either unbridled joy or sorrow, and can sometimes be a matter of life or death. Uh, this is Mahjong, right? What would it feel like to have such a piece in my hands? I'd love to find out. Means. Okay. A giant creepy doll. Okay. Small rectangular tile with a peacock painted on it. Yep. Possession of one can cause people to go into a frenzy. Okay. I heard there's a creepy looking doll in your world that is also used for educational purposes. I would like to see it for myself. Okay, maybe that one's with Edogawa? Come to think of it. I have heard whispers of a certain doll. One with the appearance so horrific it invokes nightmares. But on the other hand, it may also be used as a tool for education. Perhaps one exists somewhere within the learning facility you attend? Would you mind searching for it? Wait a report of success. Bring me an Ote Gine. Okay. Please bring me the spear, Otegine. You may find it within a special treasure chest on the lower floor of Sia, the fourth block in Tartarus. Tread carefully, for I sense a powerful shadow in its vicinity. By all means. Okay. Rare shadows number two. We need some sumptuous coins, also in Sia. I will await a report of success. Okay, magician, Rangda, fusion series number five. Uh, have a Rangda at level 54 or higher in your possession and report to Elizabeth. I will await a report of success. Lover's Titania. Have a Titania with the skill Matarukaja in your possession and report to Elizabeth. I will await a report of success. Create a persona that's level 46 or above. I will await a report and of success. And retrieve the six old documents. By all means. Did you need anything else? Yeah, I'm gonna ask <laughs> you out. I'm taking our next destination into great consideration. Please wait a while until I've made up my mind. I don't want to wait. I want to do it now. I'll take you out every night. Elizabeth is figuring out where to go next. Maybe if I fulfill more of her requests, I'll be able to invite her out. Well, if that ain't incentive, I don't know what is. <laughs> Very well. Okay, how close are we to some of those like levels? Okay, if I know what buttons to push. Let's see. So the highest level we have is 42 and 46 is the level we need. Okay. Uh, what level am I? We're 43. Okay, we're not too far off from that first one. And then we'll have to keep an, out, uh, an eye out for Titania and Rangda. Okay. It'll be a hot second before we can do those. 
All right. So let's go and check out the Mahjong parlor. I think that's over here. Isn't it one of these? The Nutjob Trio is down to two. That gothic Lolita chick, yeah? Disappeared without a word. Even though there's just two of them now, they're still nuts. Especially that long-haired freak. Guy pisses me the hell off. You know, me too. Yep, Red Hawk. Here we go. Maybe I can muster up the courage to enter. A customer is walking out. He looks defeated. I lost it all, man. Come on, kid. Give me some luck. Now, don't say a word. I challenge you to a match. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock. Wow. I guess my luck really has dried up. Uh, thank you. You've helped me realize that gambling's a lost cause. Starting today, I'm stopping cold turkey. Uh, here's a little something to say thanks. Anyway, you shouldn't be hanging around a place like this. Now beat it. <laughs> well, there's our mahjong tile. Okay. Um, let's go to the school. And let's see if we can find... Whatever this creepy doll is. Alright. Just in case he, uh... It sounds like the teacher's in a good mood. Maybe I can hear some supplementary lessons. No. Go in for no reason. <laughs> Do keep in mind that you are interrupting my ahem, scholarly pursuits. Huh? What's this? You seem healthy enough. My eyes cannot right, be deceived. Right. I don't need students slouching around my office. Out you go. Shoo shoo. All right. He doesn't have what we're looking for. Um, I think training room, printing room, it's not going to be in the library, okay, not in music prep, not in the music room, not in the home ec room, Science room? Nope. Laboratory. I can hear voices inside. Well, what should we do with this? We can't burn it because that would release harmful chemicals. Maybe we should just throw it away? Should I try entering the science lab? Yes. This might be it. <laughs> Miss Oinushi. Oh, your vernacular from 2F. Do you have any interest in this anatomical model? And that's all there is I was to just it. about to get rid of it. It's old and ugly and the students think it's creepy. But it's such a waste. I hope someone could take it as long as they don't use it for anything weird. Yes, I think that's a good idea. I'll let you have it then. Off you go. I'm going to lock up this room now. I obtained the anatomical model. There we go. Maybe now Elizabeth will go out with me. Alright. My friend asked me for the URL of the Revenge website, but I don't know it. But even if I did, why would I tell anyone else? i just keep it to myself. Okay. Are my requests wonderful it seems you've completed a request oh is that not the item i've been seeking all this time what a beautifully painted peacock ah so this is called a mahjong tile is that true it's used in a game you say i wonder if it is an essential if it is as essential as a card in ugh as a card it what <laughs> i'm sorry let me try that again i wonder if it is as essential as a card is in a card game that's a sentence, okay. Um, at any rate, thank you for this piece. I will cherish it. Please take this as your reward. A scrub brush. You're welcome, Ken. You have a cleaning tool. Uh, bring me a giant creepy doll. Let's hear the results. Oh, is this the doll so feared by humans? I see, so it's called an anatomical model. The amount of detail is quite impressive. Is that so? But what makes it so terrifying? I find it rather cute. Just look at the way its round eyes stare into your soul. <laughs> Thank you for this lovely doll. I will find an ideal place to display this. 
Just have it stare directly at the nose. Please take this as your reward. Okay. Fruit knife, we'll check that tonight when we talk to probably Shinji. Otegine is going to be in the dungeon. That's going to be in the dungeon. And we just have to level up for the rest. Okay. So that's all we can do for now. Might be Very a while well. before we do that because we want to uh, get all the missing people. Hold Good day. Since you have that, we can talk Marvelous. to you, right? It appears you have undergone significant growth. One could say that this is the culmination of your ability to attract <laughs> others. Perhaps you may now be able to forge bonds with anyone with ease. Did you need anything else? Nope. Very well then. The only person I need to forge a bond with is you, Elizabeth. Okay. So yeah, once we have our um, people to rescue, then we can go into the next dungeon. I don't even know if the next floor has technically opened up yet. All right, so we have Suimitsu here. Who do we have at Gekukon? Ooh, lots of them. And they're all gonna rank up. Keisuke, Yukari, Kaz, Chihiro. Let's see, what? Um, guys never seem to be able to do much in Home Act. True. They're going to have trouble if they ever decide to live on their own though. As for me, if my button fell off or something, I'd be able to sew it back on in a second. Good for you. Um, Bernakun, are you going to our club? Okay, we do have a persona to match. Clotho. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Great, I'll see you there. The scratching of pencils echoes through the art room. Sorry, but I need your advice again. Let's meet up after art club like we did the other day. Um, don't tell anyone else about this, okay? I'm still torn on studying abroad. My dad's trying to make all my decisions for me. He chose the school I'd go to, the dorm I'd live in, even bought my plane ticket already. And I haven't actually agreed to go through with it yet either. He's been like this ever since we argued about the art club. It's like he's suddenly trying to be more understanding. It's weird. Don't you like art club? It's not that I don't like it. It's just... It's the uncertainty of it all. Painting doesn't feel as fun anymore. Not to mention I might never be a doctor. <laughs> You know what, maybe you just want to do what it, whatever is the opposite of what your dad wants you to do, huh? Maybe that's what it is. My teachers, my friends, and especially you. Everyone's been so supportive, and I know what you must be thinking. A chance to study abroad? What an opportunity. I'm sorry, it seems like all I ever do is complain to you, but I always feel a lot better after talking to you, so thanks. It seems like Haraga trusts me. I feel like we're becoming better friends. Alright, rank 7 in fortune. Now I don't even know what I really want to do. In times like this, I turn to the heavens. I have to head to the bookstore. You can go on without me. I'm buying a fortune telling book and reading the whole thing in one night. I parted ways with Haraga and went back to the dorm. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. How's it going, girl? I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. And there it is. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Thank you, my love. Elizabeth said that a previously blocked path is now open. I should check it out next time I go to Tartarus. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Iori may be permitted to watch over that girl for the time being. Now is not the time to bombard her with questions. Besides, we still have three shadows to contend with. 
We should be able to accomplish that within the next few months unless the situation changes. Don't let your guard down until the very end. You got it. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest by now. Maybe I should go check on them. I have a suggestion. Kurumaru-san would like to communicate something to you. He is tired of eating the same food every day. I recommend you change Kurumaru-san's menu. Yeah, I'll think about it. You have my thanks. Kurumaru-san seems happy to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> By the way... Why isn't anyone going to the hospital today? Did they finish questioning her already? Chidori, right? Yo. We probably won't be going to the hospital again, huh? Seems like that Chidori person wasn't all that compatible with us. Except for one person. Yeah, he's doing pretty well. Good for him. Hey, what's up, man? What? What do you want? Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. Huh? You want a fruit knife? Uh, what for? You gonna use it for cooking? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. It's kinda old, but it has a great grip. You can have it. Thanks, buddy. So... Uh... Hey, let's say, hypothetically... Someone tells me they want to die, so I tell this person I don't want them to die. Uh, what do you think? Is it weird to say that? It's not weird to me. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, good to hear. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the roof, then. No new recordings. All right, I think all of our night social links are done at this point, right? So we're just working on academics and hanging out with our buddies here. All right, looks like the produce can be harvested. Hey, there we go. I forgot that the last thing we planted was those SP ones. Okay, soul spinach. That's what we're gonna be doing for the rest of this game. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. It doesn't seem like the lukewarm Taiyaki will fit. 9.13. I always miss the damn date, but it's only in three days. Let's try and remember. Mm -hmm. Aragaki's suppressant and Akihiko's expression. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder if she overheard that conversation between them. She would know what it meant, too. Now, the game has, like, I, I know kind of what it means. At least I think I remember what I remember <laughs> of what, what it means. Um, but I don't think the game has told us exactly what the medicine's side effects are. So I'm not going to share that. Okay. So. Oh, the exclamation is for turning in the quest. Then we'll check the arcade and then maybe go to Wakatsu. Thanks. looking forward to are you accepting a- Let's hear the results. It seems you've completed a request. What a sharp, shining blade. That must be the fruit knife I asked for. It seems as though it's been in use for a long time, but it's almost as sharp as the date was made. I bet it has been used to cut a wide variety of things, not just How fruit. Splendid. It's an all-purpose cooking tool. Hmm, there's something written on the handle. Graduation, gift, orphanage. Why did he give us this? That's so personal. Very well, then. This item appears to be quite dear to someone, so be sure to take it back with you. Please take this as your reward. Okay, well, at least we're giving it back. Bus stop sign, okay. Okay, and that uh, was a prereq for this. Bring the item that Elizabeth is asking for. Bring me oil. Of course. This time, I'd like you to fetch me some oil. Since there is a vast selection of this item, it would undoubtedly be extremely difficult to collect every single variation. Uh, this one's going to be... Um, 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 I guess, probably, right? Therefore, I only ask that you bring me the oil frequently used by one of your acquaintances. By all means. Okay. So we Very can probably well. just go and do that one right now.
I guess, give me your lube. Yes. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item oh. for her. I see you are looking for oil. That is something I do use regularly. I have a large stock of silicone oil. It works well with precision components. If you like, you may have some for free, Analog Sam. What a steal, as they say. As they say. You know what? I might just plant with Aragaki. I think we've got time to get academic still. So there might be some things that we might choose to do at night with our party Good members day. in the meantime, but we still want to go pretty hard on academics for the next test, I think, but Here are my re wonderful. It seems you've completed a request. Ah, is that the oil I requested? Oh my. Silicone oil for precision components. My, this seems to be the real deal. I wonder what its intended use is. Should I apply it, soak in it, or perhaps drink it? Don't, not, not the last one. I think the other two might be somewhat safe. I don't know, it might irritate your skin a little bit, but... <laughs> you have my thanks. Well, in any case, this completes my request. As for the oil, you can take it back with you. Please take this as your reward. Rocket punch. Okay. And that didn't unlock anything new, so we're good there. Very well. All right, we've gotten three new weapons. Let's go ahead and check them against um, our current equipment. Uh, one of them is for you, Shinji. Distress high and yeah, big old boost to your attack, which is already high as hell. Um, let's see. Fear, counter strike. Ooh, when did we get this? Oh, Tenta Mitsuyo. Oh, that's the one that we crafted, isn't it? I think that was for another request. Cool. Yeah, let's put that on. Flamberge. Okay. Let's see. A rapier that temporarily boosts accuracy and evasion for Mitsuru versus the freeze boost. Yeah, let's take the flamberge. And then this is your new one, Rocket Punch. Distress Medium, Confuse High. I don't love the accuracy, but... Because she already misses a lot, but... Confuse High is pretty damn good. And that's a huge bonus to attack. Her attack is higher than Shinji's? Wow, okay. That actually surprises me. Alright. Um, scrub Brush, Random Ailment. Once again, we're taking a accuracy hit, but the ailments could be good. We'll try it out. If we don't like the feel of it, we'll change it. Easy. Okay, we're doing that because we assume that the luck and magic ups might affect her abilities. I don't actually know for sure, if I'm being honest. Okay. God, I love this song. Oh, I love it so much. I cannot wait for my vinyls to arrive of this. All right. So hanging out with Shinji here will help us um, do something with our crops. I actually don't know what his effect is. Hey. Can anybody use the rooftop planters? Of course. I see. <laughs> Looks like they changed some stuff. Can't believe they gave us something like that. Gardening, huh? Come on, let's grow something together. What? Um, why should I do it with you? Uh, I guess that's fine. But if you want to do it with me, I'm gonna make sure you do it properly. Don't think you've, uh, don't think you're done once you've planted the seeds. If you get impatient, then don't bother. Tending to the rooftop planters might help improve the quality of the produce. All right, let me take I'm a gonna head up. What about you? Yeah. Yeah. These are SP items, so buffing those things is going to be great. All right, let's go then. I think that about does it. Hmm. You think you can see this through to the end? I got this. Good answer. Let's <laughs> just hope you can maintain that enthusiasm. Once you start something, you got to see it through to the end. I only dabbled in this back when I was a kid, but... It'll probably turn out fine. When I was still at the orphanage, 
I learned a bunch of stuff with Aki. I'm talking too much. Let's get back to work. Keep talking, bro. Keep talking. I tended the plants with Aragaki. That should do it. This kind of work is usually easier with more people. Come help out again when you've got the time. Thanks to the care we put in, it looks like the plants will grow nicely. Let's head back now, and wash your hands after handling all that soil. Yes, Father. He acts tough, but he's super nice. <laughs> Morning. So, there's something bothering me lately? Why did Aragaki Senpai suddenly decide to come back? He's an indomitable force, obviously. Yeah. I mean, he looks scary, but he doesn't seem like the type who'd rejoin cause, just because he likes to fight. You, you make a great point. Maybe we'll find out. Well then. Oh no. It's gonna be a long one. Hello, class. Bagahi Laka Bachabe. <laughs> Are you ready? Then let's begin. Today we'll discuss the magic of the Renaissance era. The Renaissance was a time when the arts and the sciences enjoyed a strong resurgence in Europe. Of course, this had a profound influence on magic. Although it may be more accurate to say the two studies helped pr improve one another. As to why the Renaissance helped to further magic, practitioners had finally nailed down a way to escape the rule of the church. By studying the teachings of previously inaccessible sects, knowledge of magic flourished, possibly like never before. The Renaissance also brought about the revival of ancient Greek and Roman literature. Magical texts such as the Hermetica received all new translations and increased study. Philosophy, natural history, alchemy, astrology. This book is filled with a wide range of subjects, some even consider it the Bible of magic. Just as science and astronomy have made strides in the modern day, so too is the art of magic. You can see this in the emergence of one of the great magicians of all history, one who put the knowledge of the Renaissance into application. John Dee was a professor who advised the Queen of England, but with the magical knowledge he uncovered, he was able to communicate with angels. Of course, there was also the Hohenheim, a doctor who traveled uh, across Europe. He became known as Pericles Paracelsus, a renowned physician and alchemist. Granted, the magician's life wasn't an easy one back then. Both men dealt with great amounts of persecution in their lives. Are you still listening? Even your astral cells need to pay attention. <laughs> Here's a test to see if you were paying attention. Get it wrong and your house will become permanently haunted. Bagahi Laka Bachabe. Okay, then. Who to pick this time? Ah, uh, I choose the vernacular. Which book helped further the art of magic during the Renaissance? The Hermetica. Cool. Correct. Enjoy sleeping in your peaceful home tonight. Thanks, bro. Thanks for not cursing me. During the Renaissance, magic had a surprisingly strong influence on the church-ruled society. Several magicians were even involved in the core part of the Renaissance, the religious revolution. I answered correctly. Everyone in the class is looking at me with respect and think I'm cool. I am cool. Max Charm, baby. It does feel good to be back in the game. It's been too long. My schedule's been crazy, ma'am. Class has ended for today. I don't think I can ignore you forever, even though I want to. Okay, Odagiri. Ah, uh, Fuka. Oh, Shinji, really? If, if Shinji wants to hang out, it's it's got to be Shinji. Um, hold on. What's the button? There we go. Yeah, so many rank ups, man. Yep, it's Shinji. Okay. No contest. Okay, he's probably going to be in the outskirts. Let's talk to this guy up here. School started again. The students have been fun to watch this term. All those kids trying to look good after vacation but can't pull it off. Inside, they just smile at them and laugh. That's kind of rude, dude. Alright, what does the text from Aragaki look like? It's Aragaki. I got your number from Kurijo. If you're free, come by the back alley again. You got it. I'm there, bro. Hey, let's go out, if you've got the time. 
Should I spend the evening with Aragaki? You bet. Yeah. I see. Well, come with me then. Two specials. Two specials coming right up! What's wrong? That hungry? Why'd you bring me here? Because I said I'd treat you. I can't go back on my word. It's bad for my conscience. <laughs> Dude, let's just call it what it is. We're friends, bro. You're so faithful. That's supposed to be a compliment. Why not? <laughs> Point is, you don't go back on your word. Especially when it comes to something you promised. This looks delicious. Right. Don't want the noodles to get soggy. I was thinking earlier. You really don't take any shit. Even from your elders. I respect straightforwardness. Less trouble that way. Let's finish up and get the hell out of here. Welcome back. Were you together? Hmm? Wait, Aragaki. Have you considered returning to school at all? It's been some time since second semester started. Regarding your attendance, it'd be best if you went back as soon as possible. <laughs> Are you having second thoughts? I got the paperwork, but I don't remember saying anything about turning it in. What's the point anyhow? I got no business there. Then why... why did you come back here? I apologize. It isn't my place to ask that. Everything is my fault. I shouldn't have gotten you or Akihiko involved. Cut that out. Girl carries a lot of guilt. I chose to join you back then. However things turned out after that has nothing to do with you. I didn't know what I was capable of. That's all there is to it. Then why are you so determined not to return to school? You'll be throwing your future away if you don't go back. Um, I don't actually like either of these options. I'm not gonna tell her to calm down. So, we're going to act like this is just kindly saying, well, you can't force him. Right. I apologize. I was out of line. I don't plan on forcing you into anything, like I did in the past. What's important is it's your own decision, Aragaki. <laughs> Looks like you have changed. Just a little bit. You always used to avoid relying on people. Not so much of a lone wolf anymore, huh? <laughs> Rich coming from him, isn't it? The only it? choice we have is to keep moving forward. That goes for myself, Akihiko, and you. So please, Aragaki, just give it another chance. What are you guys up to? Okay, we got the whole crew. Looks like a pretty serious discussion. Let me guess. Miss President is lecturing the delinquent on the importance of his education. You know her so well. Akihiko. Well, I'll be damned. For a protein-fueled, muscle-bound moron, you're pretty smart. What was that? See you, Miss President. This delinquent's gonna go to his room and think about his bad choices. <laughs> he knows exactly how to push Wait, his buttons. We're not finished yet. Akihiko, why are you like this? <laughs> huh? Dad. What just happened? Was it something I said? It's kind of some bad timing, that's all, bro. <laughs> well, that's not my fault. It's nothing new. I'll just apologize later. I feel like my charm improved. Can't make this face more beautiful. Oh, welcome back. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What? Bother someone else if you're bored. I got nothing to offer you. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Alright, so tonight... Let's see what we got. Come on, academics. Okay, let's go and see if we can go to, uh, what's it called? Um, I'm blinking. It's been too long. What is this place called again? Wakatsu. Yeah, Wakatsu. Just when the song was getting good. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. All right. This time in particular, I believe this human is an acquaintance of yours. Oh Goodbye no. Now. Who was this one? I think I remember who this is. If I don't save them, the consequences could be irreversible. We'll go and check the board. I think I might know who this is. Our next topic. All right, our next chapter goes over the problems of the Kamakura Shogunate. The Kamakura period's cool and all, but it doesn't beat the Sengoku era. Have we covered enough of this yet? I can skip to Sengoku now, yeah? Yeah, let, let's do it. We're taking a deep dive into the era, starting from the beginning. As I'm sure you all know, it's generally agreed upon that the major factor in the Sengoku era's formation was the Onin War in 1467. After that, the next big one was the coup of Mayo in 1493. Let's look a bit closer at the Onan War first, though, in 1467. Nope, need that academics. Wow, it's already time? I can't believe that went by so fast. We've only made it to 1467, but there's still so much to cover. I guess there's no other choice. Next time, we'll jump ahead to 1468. is going to be here today, but they said we still can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why I'm in here in the first place. Oh yeah, uh, how's that cut doing? Ah, right. Probably healed already, huh? So, uh, you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Huh, your flowers wilted. The heat must have got to him. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some fresh ones? What's your favorite kind of... Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> huh? Flowers? Those are cut flowers, right? Whoa. How'd you do that? I gave them a little bit of my energy. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? This is just another form they can take. Well, yeah, I guess. I kind of wish that Persona explored this a little bit more. Like, in the future games, there's not a lot of, like, tertiary powers that people have. It could be interesting thing to explore in some of the future games, like if everybody had kind of like their own unique sort of power that they get from being a Persona user out in the real world, you know, besides just being able to use Persona. But that's about all I've got going for me. They just haven't this done power, much with that. I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. In fact, 
I don't even really have a good reason to live. A good reason to live? Good reason. When I was a kid, I had this silly dream. A dream? I used to want to grow up to be a pro baseball player. Pretty stupid, huh? But I guess that's part of being a kid. I wouldn't really know. I don't remember much from my childhood. I only remember one thing. Being surrounded by white. Everything was white. Hmm. I hate hospitals. Oh. You do. Um. Sorry. But you've been coming to see me here. So, I don't mind as much this time. My heart. Chidori. My heart. It, you mean it? Then I'll come to see you every day. <laughs> Look at him blushing. My boy Junpei. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. I really am. He's come a long way. And he's like actually decent and respectful to her. You know? Class has ended for today. Greetings. Junpei-san went to the hospital again. He seemed quite eager to get there. Has the questioning been going smoothly? He's making progress. This is questionable. Do I detect an underlying meaning? <laughs> is there something between her and Junpei-san that I am not aware of? Well, you are astute, aren't you? In any case, I have difficulty grasping those kinds of subtleties. You know, something I'm not doing right now that I probably should be is cards. Oh, this is the stocking couple where they switch sides. Huh, I still get the sense that someone's following me. Hey, there's someone over there. Ah, that guy looks familiar. She's already forgetting. Damn, I missed my chance to talk to her. All I seem to do these days is follow her around. What should I do? Yeah, at the beginning of the year, she was stalking him. Now she doesn't even remember who he is. And now he's obsessed with her. How sad. Okay, we want, like, all of those. Man, there's so many good ones that we've got right now. Doubles healing effects. Ooh, okay. Alright, we need to remember to do our cards like every day, because there's so many I want to duplicate right now. Okay, you're at seven. You're really low. What were you at? Six? Ah! The choices are paralyzing. All right, Yuko, let's go. Those kids had the race and they said they want to talk to us. Okay, we have Jiko Kutun. Let's do it. Okay, I'll go call them over then. Ah. I wonder how they did. Now I'm getting nervous. Coach and the boyfriend! <laughs> Coach! We raced them all one-on-one -on -one and two of us actually won! That means we tied the sixth graders. Can you believe it? They said they're gonna let us use the schoolyard now. And they want to be friends with us. They think we're pretty fast for fourth graders and told us we should play together sometime. 
never had a doubt. I know how hard you all worked. Wow, thanks. Um, big sis? <laughs> you don't have to call me that if you don't want to. Auntie Yuko is fine. One, two, three. Good luck with your boyfriend! <laughs> And they called you my boyfriend till the very end. They're just joking around. Yeah, I know that. Just because <laughs> you can call Cause my boyfriend when I'm with him. <sighs> you know what this feels like? The end of some cheesy high school drama series. <sighs> like the kids have left the nest. Are you sad? Now that it's suddenly so quiet, yeah, a little. Although it was pretty tough at the beginning. Teaching those kids how to race, it was pretty fun. They looked so happy every time they got faster. And it made me happy too. That feeling of wanting to help them just kept growing bigger and bigger. You know, this might have been the first time I really put my heart into something. And it's not that I've been slacking off as a team manager, but maybe helping and teaching people is more of my thing. It kind of made me think about the things I should do for my future, I mean. Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank you. Maybe we should throw a little party, you know, to celebrate our first attempt at coaching. Hell yeah, let's do it. Yay! Oh, I can't wait. Hmm. Now, where should we have the party at? I kind of want it to be somewhat fancy. I'll look around for a place. Yuko is full of enthusiasm. I feel like our relationship has grown. All right, so honestly, if I didn't have my first pick for waifu in this game, she'd probably be my second choice. I love Yuko in this game. Strength rank seven. I didn't have much confidence at the beginning. So you being here with me was really... Well, let's talk about that next time. We'll have plenty of time at the party. Shall we head home? I left school with Yuko. Oh, you're back. Hey. By the way... Kurumaru-san says that he got a very tasty meal from Aragaki-san. He was very excited and mentioned that he'd won over his stomach. What could have happened to him? I am concerned. Arf arf. Jeez. Can you feel it too? When you go near Junpei, it's like, how do I put it? Like he's radiating happiness maybe? Did something happen to him? Um. Let's talk. I'm glad Chunpei-kun is back to normal, but do you think his relationship with Chidori-san will work out? She's a member of Strega, and there are enemies. Honestly, I have no idea. Well, yes, but... Just when they were starting to get along, it's such an ironic twist of fate. Hey, have you ever thought about what you're living for? To a certain extent. Hmm. Wow, never took you for the philosophical type. All right, tomorrow is the day for the fridge. There it is. Academics, let's go. In a while. Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly, and in that time, many things change. But at the same time, 
Some things in this world will always remain the same. Don't you agree? Yeah, I suppose that's true. I see. If that's what you say, then it must be true. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. Like that tower, for one. It's been on my mind a lot lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? <laughs> no matter what the future holds, you and I will always be friends. That much is certain. For some reason, Pharos is smiling sadly. I sense a stronger bond with him. Rank six in death. I'll see you again. But until then, good night. No school, home shopping show. It's amazing commodities! Hello everyone, welcome to the home shopping show Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. I'm your host Tanaka with a live presentation of my amazing commodities. We'll show you great products at unbeatable prices, so don't touch that dial because you won't want to miss I'm these. Going to do it. Today we're introducing the Foolproof Disaster Prevention Set. In this unpredictable world where anything can happen at any time, prepare for the worst with these items. Good, good. First up, we have the emergency vest. With this, you'll never have to worry about a thing. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful, but wait, there's Not more. Bad, we'll throw in this first aid kit M2. Guess how many? Five. All that just for 24,800 yen. This is a special limited product available today only. You heard right, today only. Yep, let's buy it. Usually the gear's pretty good, so. Thanks, kid. All right. Sodas have been replenished. We're gonna do Akinari, it's a Sunday. Oh, Shinji! We have plenty of Sundays left, we have to do Shinji. I don't know if these are missable. I think that they generally give you multiple opportunities, but we're gonna play it safe. Aren't we, Shinji? Yes, we are. We're gonna play it safe with Shinji. My okay. Bad. Sorry for calling you up so suddenly. You got a minute? There's something I want to talk about. Thanks. Shouldn't take too long. I got a favor to ask you. Give this to Kirijo. Preferably while you're at school. I haven't suddenly decided to go back to school or anything. That's a form to extend my leave of absence. Don't make much sense to be in an extracurricular squad if I get expelled. But, I'll drop it if I can stay absent from school. <laughs> Why don't you turn it in yourself? You got a point there, but that'd end up being more of a pain than it's worth. It should be pretty easy to hand it off if you do it at school. I'll pay you back for this, so help me out, alright? <laughs> more ramen? Have you talked to Sonata? This has nothing to do with him. Besides, 
I already know what Aki would say. Huh. I don't see you two together very often. What are you guys doing back here in the middle of the day? Uh, that envelope. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not the form for returning to school. <laughs> hey, if Shinji keeps this up, you'll be his classmates next year. <laughs> you and Junpei should practice addressing him casually. In fact, go ahead and boss him around a bit. <laughs> I'd rather get expelled. <laughs> These two love razzing each other, man. We're gonna finish the battle this year. I've got no reason to stay enrolled after that. <sighs> Shinji! You know exactly how concerned Mitsuru is about you. You know what this form means to her, don't you? Don't tell me you forgot your promise. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't want to drag you into my problems, but... Still counting on you for that. I've never seen Shinji ask someone else for help with his own problems before. He'd never say it out loud. But I think he really trusts you. Not as much as you, though. I don't know. Yeah, we've known each other a long time. But sometimes, being too close to somebody can have its drawbacks. I'm not gonna nag Shinji about going back to school anymore. Just do what you think is best. I'll leave it to you. Alright, guess we need to bring that to uh, Kurija senpai Sonata didn't say much on the walk back to the dorm. It feels like my academics improved after thinking about what's on Aragaki's mind. Alright, I'll call that a win. Academics increased as well. I really wish that didn't land on a Sunday, but we have plenty of Sundays for Aki. Akinari. Tell me, what do you personally think of Shinji? I know he can come across, but he's not a bad guy. He can be a nag, but still, uh, feel free to put him to work on the team. All right, I cannot forget, I cannot forget, I cannot forget. It is the 13th. I did forget cards earlier today. There's a bit of space. Chill it. Okay, everybody's on the second floor. I think... I'm so happy Aragaki-senpai joined us. He's really made things easier on us. We shouldn't let him do all of the hard work either, or else we won't grow stronger. <laughs> well, you're actually for real. Jeez. Of course she is. What's so shocking about that? You should learn from her example. Excuse me. With Aragaki-san as our ally, we are a much more formidable force. This is the ideal time for us to ascend Tartarus. Yeah. Seriously, I'd love to keep our momentum going and charge through it. Hey! I'm so glad that Aragaki-senpai decided to return to the team. I mean, he's strong in battle, but also just knowing that he's on our side kind of puts me at uh -huh. ease. Yeah, I agree. He looks kind of scary, but in reality, he's such a strong and kind senpai. Hey! Hey, with Aragaki-san around, the atmosphere is so much more serious. Yes. With Junpei-san around, the atmosphere is so much more childish. <laughs> Ouch! That hurt, Aichan. I don't even get a come. I don't even got a comeback for that. Um, hold on. Yeah, well, let's let's look first. Who had things? You did not, but I forgot to talk to you. Let me think. Just one thing. Whether or not I fit into your battle plan is up to you. You can remove me from the party whenever you think that's for the mm. better. Don't worry about my feelings. Okay.
I can hear people talking. Hey there! What is your class doing for the culture festival? You know what? A haunted house. I bet I'll be stuck playing the ghost. Huh. That doesn't sound too bad. You can just show up and put on the costume. I actually need to practice for a magic show. But I also heard a typhoon is on its way, and it's a big one. Are people really going to turn up? It's almost time for the culture festival. Attention, please. We're starting a new chapter today. This one is all about Nick's tough situation. You know, the story reminds me of when I first met my husband. Ah, uh, what a wild time that was. At first we were somewhat distant, but after spending enough time together, one day I suddenly realized that he was my better half. Wow. I just came up with a good question, Mr. Vernack. Since our eyes for met first, who is who is one referring to when speaking of their better half? Their soulmate. Yes. Wonderful, your better half is considered your soulmate, the person you are destined to be with. Someone who you never want to leave and will treasure you always. I believe whoever makes you feel this way is your soulmate. Someday, if ever you meet someone who makes you feel like that, accept your feelings and your better half with open arms. Oh, look at the time. Let's get back to the lesson. Alright, and this is where we're going to end this episode, so thank you all for being here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody, bye. I'd like to give a very special shout-out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada 101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba 90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, Emily Kuzanoa, Philip Dowerty, Timothy Jansen, Skip, Daniel, St. Germain Soleil, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.